What's going on? Hey, how you doing? This is Levi Rogers with REMAX North San Antonio Top Team. I am out here at 7306 Silent Circle. Um, check out this home over here. Pretty amazing home. Um, things that I want to point out, what we're doing is we are out here uh, helping the buyer make a decision who is not in the state. And what we're doing is taking a video of it and loading up to YouTube to help them make a decision on this property. Uh, so I'm gonna walk through and go ahead and uh, give my thoughts and ideas on this property. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, you know, as we walk through, we go ahead and see the, uh, the dining room off to the right. Uh, you know, the great thing about this home is the fact uh, that it is located in Northside School District. However, um, it is completely dated. Um, you know, so we go through here, look at the kitchen. Uh, things that I see in here, I see a few thousand dollar rehab, got great cabinets, definitely needs a new appliances, new paint, new everything um, in there as well. Nice furniture surrounding the uh, fireplace, very nice. The master is down, here is the living room. Uh, the great thing about this property uh, is that there is a game room space on the back side of the living room. The um, owner at some point added that, really, really neat. Um, it doesn't have, um, it's not hooked up to the HVAC system. However, they did add heat and cool capability with the, you know, one of those uh, wall units. Uh, exterior access from this section of the home as well. The HVAC units uh, are right by the master, which could be, you know, uh, good or bad. Um, it's just, it might get a little noisy. Uh, we do have the living room here, uh, looking at from the pool room. I do like all the custom shutters in here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and one thing I see here too is the programmable thermostat. Pretty nice. We do have a half bath here as well uh, for guests. Um, and again, this is not designed to be a professional video or anything like that. Just uh, out here uh, uh, trying to help the clients make a good decision. Um, again, carpet on the first floor just needs to be replaced. Uh, the master bath is dated, however, extremely clean. Uh, double vanity as well. Uh, the, the shutters, uh, nice uh, walk-in shower uh, could be... Um, you know, cleaned up a little bit, you know, as far as uh, updated. I like the high ceilings in here. I like the fact that you have a window that can be opened right here and a window that can be opened right there. Very, very nice. Um, moving on, the closet is inside the master bath bedroom, not inside the bathroom. So what that does is it limits you guys from where you can put your bed and your TV and so on and so forth. Just take a look at that. Um, Either way, uh, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and go upstairs. Lots of closet space down, um, but not so much uh, up. Um, so we're gonna walk up the stairs right now, and I'm gonna check out the rest of the home. This carpet is in good condition overall. However, uh, you know, it's old. Um, in the attic, one of the cool things about this home is that you hardly ever see homes that are this old that have a radiant barrier. That will help out the, um, the energy bills. Um, no ceiling fans throughout the upstairs space. Uh, so that's something that would need to be done, in my opinion. The, the blinds are in really nice condition as well. So three rooms up, a shared full bath, which is right here. Uh, one neat thing about this full bath here is there's side attic access as well. So you have an HVAC access right there, and then you have an HVAC access up here as well. Uh, both the HVACs have appeared to be replaced. Uh, um, just recommend it. You guys consult with the HVAC professional on that. Uh, moving... Again, here is the living space. Um, there's the front door. And then what I'm gonna do is go through the kitchen, check it out. Okay. And then we're gonna walk outside real quick, check out this wonderful backyard. This is truly the highlight of this home. Um, nice flagpole to, to get that whole patriotic feeling that we all love to do. Um, extremely nice uh, landscaping over here. Palm trees galore. Um, Sago palms, you name it, absolutely wonderful. Um, beautifully maintained pool. Um, there is, you know, it's an older pool, so I recommend talking with a good, reputable pool company to give you some ideas and recommendations as to what you can do. I noticed some cracking and moving and shifting around the pool. Um, I got some good contacts for pool guys, if you know. Pool Concepts over there, Jason Ordaz, uh, great family, great uh, uh, pool company that could really help you out. Uh, pool equipment looks a little dated, could probably use some. Uh, some help. I, I would say for the resale aspect of this big backyard here is that we simply just uh, look at the privacy or the lack thereof on the right side of the backyard. Um, what that's going to do is the only compromise of privacy that I see on the entire uh, 
area back here. So if you guys are out here doing whatever it is you do in the pool, you want to definitely make sure that, um, you know, the neighbors aren't involved in that as well. So let's go ahead and get some red tip patinas, Monterey oaks, or uh, crepe myrtle. Oh, scratch your crepe myrtles. Crepe myrtle is when the wind blows, start filling up your pool with a bunch of flowers. Monterey oaks and red tip patinas grow about three to five feet a year in the soil in this weather down here. So uh, uh, check those out. Used to have a heater on this pool equipment over here, but it uh, looks like it was gone. I see the, ga the gas nub right there. So that's good for expansion if you wanted to do pool equipment. I mean, it does have an automatic chlorinator, which is good. Um, and so what I'll do also, it looks like it's being professionally maintained. So get you guys linked up with that company that is go ahead and maintain it. But huge backyard. I love this hammock. I, I love the space. Uh, you know, we'll go ahead and get a roof over here to check this out and, and, um, and so forth. Uh, very nice backyard. I, I mean, just uh, absolute massive amount of space uh, for you guys i like the fact that there's some extra bricks over there uh, we can certainly uh, use that for any projects because that matches the home as well gas meters on this side so it's a good thing that that gas line's already ran over there to the pool because that would cost you a ton of money and it's already done so in case you guys want to add a gas heater to that However, solar is big here in San Antonio. Uh, CPS has a great rebate, so uh, maybe you want to look into that. Um, and if you want to have a heater in your pool, you might want to look at electric, but uh, talk to a pool guy, talk to, uh, um, to, to make a decision on that. But anyways, uh, checking out this big, beautiful backyard. Looks like lots of fun can be had out here. Uh, you know, uh, so just wanted to give you guys a update and see what the home looks like without some Photoshop photos. And then, um, you know, hopefully this was helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and walk in and lock this place up. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, please let me know. What I'm gonna do is load this to YouTube. Uh, let me get this to the garage real quick. Um, here, look at this. Make sure you guys get uh, uh, steel braided little deals there for that. That thing looks like it's about to burst anytime. time. Um, okay, they make those steel braided ones. You can get a Walmart, they're uh, a little bit better quality. Uh, checking out the garage here. Uh, very nice. Um, you know, this is that area that we were talking about that uh, had that, um, uh, what you might call it, that, uh, um, that heat problem right there. Uh, water heater appears to be in good condition. However, uh, you know, go with what the inspector says on that one. Uh, Sprinkling system model over there. Uh, very, very nice. Very nice. Window in the garage, in case you're working on the garage. You do have this big old crack right here. Um, you know, that's something that I would recommend. Uh, talking to a foundation company about, um, see what their expertise and their, what they say on that is. Uh, you have electric and gas for the heater, so, um, or for the, the dryer, excuse me, so that may be good or bad, it just depends on the, what your guys' taste are. Again, okay, here we are, uh, here's the kitchen. Um, and again, uh, my recommendation for a rapid resale on this, just in case you always have to prepare for resale, is to start in this kitchen, work your way out, okay? Um, if you guys want to meet after you close, if you do end up moving forward with this property, I'd certainly meet with you guys and, and let you know my thoughts and recommendations, advice and opinions on um, getting this uh, home updated to get a rapid resale. All right. Have a great day. Again, this is Levi Rogers, REMAX North San Antonio. Uh, you can reach me at 210-784-6585 by voice or text. Again, 210-784-6585. Have a blessed day. Hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.